class for beginners. We want to keep it accessible and comfortable to get used to the poses, get used to the benefits. Hi everybody, welcome back to the mat when we are practicing yin yoga, 10 minutes to get familiar with the poses, the names, the benefits, the principles of yin yoga. So I hope you have been practicing uh, the previous classes and today we have a class for the upper body where we are incorporating the torso and the arms in these poses. Maybe you will need a bolster. Actually, today I will say it is good if you have a bolster with you, a cushion or a hard pillow or two pillows because we're going to do a pose that is a fish pose. And for majority of us, it can be a little bit strong to do it without support. So I will highly recommend you today to have a prop with you to do that pose. So to start with, we're going to find our wide knee child pose. So we're gonna open our knees and place it outside, like um, on the edges of your mat. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna bring the right hand forward and we're gonna place the left hand across. So we have this child pose with a twist. So the right hand remains on the floor lifting the right elbow while the left hand is crossing and we're placing, trying to place the posterior part of the shoulder on the floor. So with this, we are adding this twist, which help us to compress and to stretch and to twist the muscles in the lateral side of the torso, the oblique muscles. And also, of course, we are working with the muscles, the joints, the ligaments, the tendons, these lines of energy that run along the arms as well. So we're going to be in each pose for a minute. So a few more seconds here. Mm, nice. And come back to the center. Stop just for one moment to feel, to experience, to explore before moving to the other side. So let me start my timer. Move your left hand in front of you and we're going to start moving the right arm underneath. Place your right uh, ear on the floor. So you're also twisting all the way with the neck. Try to have your hips on top of your heels, whether they meet the heels or not. That is the intention of the pose. Trying to sink in the pose using gravity to move your pelvis and your hips down to the floor, but keeping the left elbow off the mat. So this arm is a little bit more active and also allowing the shoulder, the right shoulder to move closer and closer to the floor, whether it's touching the floor or not. Just a few more seconds in this wild, white knee child pose with a twist. And softly, we're gonna start moving out of the pose just resting in the center to feel the sensations before moving to the next pose. So we're gonna move the knees close to each other. You can help one knee and then the other one. Remember in yin, we want to move in slow motion, slower than you think you should move. And we're gonna come on our belly. So we're gonna find this seal um, sphinx pose that we have practiced already in other classes because this is a very nice pose to incorporate the torso the lumbar spine the shoulders so even though in yin we want to practice with the muscles relax 
especially the muscles of the area that we're targeting. Other muscles that are not part of that target area, you can have them active. It's not true that we have to look like a jellyfish in, in a yin practice. So soften your glutes, soften the muscles that are around the lumbar area, which is the area that we're targeting in this pose. But your um, torso is active, so you, we're not hanging collapsing on the shoulders. You want to actually have the torso upright. You're pressing the elbows against the floor. You're pressing, pressing the palms uh, against each other. So that includes those lines of energy that we have in the arms and the forearms. Nice. We're gonna let go of the pose, making a pillow with our hands. Hmm. This is just for neutralizing the spine. Every time we move the spine in different directions, we want to allow the spine to come back to its natural shape, this S shape that is natural for the spine. Good. And now, this is when the bolster comes handy, we're going to roll over to be on our back. But before we do that, we want to have the bolster horizontally because we want the bolster to allow the chest to be supported, the back to be supported and to open the chest. So let me just arrange my mic here. So you roll over to be on your back, making sure that the bolster is supporting the midline of your spine, bringing your feet, the feet, uh, the soles of your feet together so we make a diamond shape and this is too much for the knee because this is not exactly the target area of today you can also practice with your knee um, in extension right with your legs extended in front of you otherwise make a diamond shape like butterfly um diamond shape like the butterfly legs and then we let go of the head down to the mat so this is to open up our chest and you can let go of the arm. This is the supported fish that I was talking at the beginning of the class that for majority of us is better to practice with support. Otherwise, we will be in a more challenging pose. And because this is a class for beginners, let me just move my hair away. Good. We want to keep it accessible and comfortable to get used to the poses, get used to the benefits and create these new patterns of movement, not only in the body, but also in the brain, in the nervous system. Just a few more seconds here. You may want to close your eyes. Enjoying this passive stretch of your, the muscles of your chest, the pectoral is major, opening the anterior part of your shoulders as well, and the supported back bend, nice. A few more breaths here. I'm going to start coming out of the pose, so if your if your legs are in butterfly legs in the diamond shape, bring one hand and the other one to help your legs. And then we're going to start rolling to one side, supporting your body um, with your hands, moving as slowly, very slowly, slowly that you think, removing the, the bolster if, this in, if, if, it, if it is in the way. Otherwise, bend the knees and hug your knees, same as you would be doing if we were on the floor. So hug your knees and you can rest your forehead on your knees. It's like making yourself a little bowl. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to rest my forehead on my knees, otherwise it will be very hard to talk to the mic and guide you in this pose. A hold your knees, hug yourself, make yourself a little tiny ball, releasing any tension in your spine. Just a few more moments here. Trying to come inwards 
and very gently and softly releasing, coming to an easy cross position. Finding a comfortable seated position when we can finish this class. I thank you all for joining me in another practice of yin yoga when we incorporate the upper body, the arms, the chest, the spine. And I will see you again because we still have a lot of classes to go in this yin yoga for beginners program. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.